Guys, this video is all about the ships and seaports. After watching this video, you should feel much more confident how to obtain your fleet. Buying ships used to be a simple process due to the limited amounts of ships. It means that every time there's a new ship you could buy, you buy. But now that's different. There's more and more ships at every patch developer releases and you end up with ships every one or two levels. You can barely buy them as you level up. And that's been a problem as of late as I've been having more and more ships that I couldn't even buy or don't feel they're worthwhile to buy. And there's been like 10 ships or so that I can buy but I didn't buy. This video is all about why and how to buy these ships and the thinking behind it. Now first of all, you have to understand what do you get when you buy a new ship. When you buy a new ship, it's not just a new ship. You, when you usually buy a new ship, it means taking out a ship from your existing fleet. And you can check that when you look at your ships. Usually that means replacing your weakest ship in your fleet. In my case, you'll see it's a fully upgraded ship, 80, 80 crew and 20 capacity. If I buy a new ship, let's say this ship, uh, there's a premium ship, oh, there's also a premium ship, let's pick a normal ship here. If I buy a new ship, it means I actually get 10 crew less than my weaker ship in the link, and I get 4 more capacity. Now, this is very important because this is what's really impacting is the capacity in general terms. When you buy this new ship, you get, to me, I get four more capacity. Now, think about the four, I get four more space. So you take these resource and imagine all of them divided by four. This is how much you're paying per cargo space. In other words, roughly a hundred and uh, 10 gold per slot you're buying for more capacity and while I it seems really expensive you have to realize this is how the game progress you need more gold and in my previous video you understand that having the best ships allows you to get more gold it's it's a very important feedback loop better ships gets more gold more gold lets you buy better ships but the more gold doesn't help if you keep buying ships that are only marginally better than your existing ships. If I bought a ship before, oh, not this one, not this one. If I bought a ship like this, it would have been almost the same and I would have sunk basically two, almost 300,000 of gold into nothing, not, not, not accounting for the other resource. I would have sunk almost 300,000 and we've gotten nothing in return and then I still have to upgrade this ship and to get a benefit. That's not an ideal state. You always want to buy a ship that right off the bat without any upgrade is worthwhile to your weakest ship. Always compare your a new ship that you want to buy to your weakest ship in your fleet. If my weakest ship had only 10 space, this would have been very affordable. That would have been like 27,000 per cargo slot. That would have been really cheap. But if it's already 20, then there's no benefit for me. And this is not exact science of whether if, if it's over certain amounts per cargo, it's worthwhile to buy or not to buy. But you'll see as you look at these numbers, up, choosing between upgrades or buying becomes much, much simpler. You've you see that I've upgraded almost all my ships, but let's pick one that I've bought for vanity, like this one. Uh, it's, a, it's an event ship, but if I press upgrade, you'll see if I want one more slot here, eventually I get to 34 ideally if you pay gold. But just for this upgrade, it's one slot, one cargo slot upgrade, and I have to pay 75,000, in equivalent in, in sense, for one more slot paying 75. Where the other one, if I pick a new ship, I think I've shown you this before. Oh, not this one. It's. I'll just go down. 
No, no, no. For four more slots, I'm paying a hundred thousand. So if this is a hundred thousand and that one's only seventy-five, it makes sense to buy the upgrade because that one's cheaper. This is the basis of how you up upgrade. You should always view it in the one cargo upgrade basis. In many ways, you'll realize as you're leveling up that some ships are just never worthwhile upgrade because every time you decide to upgrade, you look at the upgrade cost of buying a new ship is so much cheaper than upgrading the existing fleet. And if you do that, while it doesn't look as nice to have a whole fleet full of upgraded ships, you realize these new ships are way more cost effective and at first it will take time to save up to have that much when you can just get an upgrade but once you do that over time as you get like three four five more ships that are even though they're just not upgraded at all and your whole ship is, start, is starting to have a full fully stocked ship but they're all very very good ships for your budget you have more and more gold and before time you'll have my problem of having too much gold <laughs> hopefully at this pace and you'll, you'll level up faster because when you have events as of now having a, oh, a really high capacity for your level would let you do things faster because if you, if you think about it going to collect pirate hat two times whatever your ship can hold it depends on how much your ships can hold it all comes down to that. Getting gold depends on how much ship you, your, your ships can hold. Getting to every port to trade depends on how much ships can hold. Even doing these quests depends on how much ships you can hold. It makes no sense to not care about the, the ship you're buying because it determines so much of how fast your ports, your levels, how much goods you get every time you send a fleet out and when I come back you can reap the rewards so um, now that I've talked about upgrades versus buying I hope you're much more clear on that uh, some other tricks about sending a fleet out is while normally that's not evident or maybe most people don't think about it but the crew matters when you send ships to port when you level up these ports they need a certain amount of sailors if you don't have enough sailors you can't send it to there which makes your ship you have to either send it to another port or just not that useful so if you know that like level level five is the max for some ports there are some ports that are level six i believe you will see that you will need ships eventually to have at least this much sail sailors to to be in the on the boats otherwise they're useless but even even taking account of that shouldn't stop you from buying a ship is if it's a good price because it will you can send it to other places that requires a much lower sailor cost and they will give you great returns anyways so don't worry about that as for as for taking ships out of your fleet tactically sometimes involves around when they need crew in most places you send it will require only cargo then only the cargo matters because the crew doesn't really matter as much but when they want sailors in some case some ships have much more of a higher crew carrying than uh, cargo let's see there's a very early ship let me find it it's a very special ship but Nonetheless, it's very useful in some cases when you need crew. Oh, I don't see it here. Nope. It's this ship. I think a lot of people can have this ship right in the beginning. And you realize it doesn't carry a lot, but it has a lot of crew. So if you want to send to exploration places for whatever, whatever stage of exploration you're at, sending a ship that especially with crew in mind can help you. Like my, my other ships that are cargo have only roughly a hundred, I think a hundred, a hundred twenty or a hundred cargo of crew. Well, not cargo, but crew space. 
having selecting docking your existing ship usually the weakest ship in your link and then selecting a ship that's only for crew and sending them to the crew exploration gives you so much more effectiveness in terms of allowing only to send like that ship there and the rest to collect more gold more wood and more stone and iron so that is a nice little trick it works slightly because it you can't continuously use it it's only useful in some cases but it's nice to have because it's like having one more ship to your effectiveness so that concludes it for this video in the next video I'll talk about some of the uh, coca NPCs and the market town thanks for watching I'll see you next time